Uh, the um, freedom of expression uh, is something the Arab masses are longing for. And since the uh, launching of Al Jazeera in 1996, November 1996, uh, it took people by surprise. People never expected uh, a free medium to emerge out of a small state in the Persian Gulf. But it was basically the uh, fortuitous thinking of the government of Qatar uh, that if you want to survive in today's world, you don't have to have hundreds of thousands of square miles of area. You, you, what you need to be, you need to be industrious, you need to be free, you need to be diverse. And Jazeera is providing that. Many reasons. First, uh, it gives a very balanced view of the Middle East. We are the only channel that will give the other side the full right of rebuttal to any argument. If you have, for example, the usual charge uh, leveled against the Jazeera, uh, we host some anti-Jewish uh, opinions. Of course, we do. And we have Israelis. And it's so funny that Canada would feel reticent about Al Jazeera being here while Israel allows Al Jazeera and gives it a lot of facilities. Yeah, a lot of grumbling from Israeli officials, but they never ever ban Jazeera. Only the Sharon government threatened a couple of times to ban Al Jazeera, but uh, up to now, uh, Al Jazeera is functioning freely uh, inside Israel, in the West Bank, and in Gaza. Oh, they don't border on censorship, they are censorship laws. Uh, what you're telling me is that your government thinks that the Canadian viewers are so fragile, so naive, that uh, censorship laws should be there to protect their fragile feelings. And the world is not made of nice guys who say politically correct statements all the time. You have people, I mean, the Middle East is a very volatile region. You have people from both sides of the curtain having very strong views. Uh, a rabbi, our father Yusuf from the Shah's party, called Arabs monkeys and uh, snakes and reptiles and called liberal Jews uh, and peaceniks in, the, uh, in Israel uh, dogs that should be shot. A very extreme view. Do you ban him? I wouldn't. I will give the other side the right to rebuttal. I remember being faced with uh, allegations that uh, someone uh, way back in the States uh, called me a coconut, black from the outside, white from the inside. Why? Because I refused uh, to ban coverage of uh, Ku Klux Klan March. Ugly. They call me a nigger. Very strong statement. But they have the right to say it, and I have the right to refuse and, and uh, rebut it because it's there. The minute you start banning stuff, it will uh, go underground, fester like a dirty wound, and then you can't handle the outbreak. It will be disastrous. And the minute you have censorship laws, you basically uh, threaten the existence of your own democracy. So enough is enough, really. Enough with the bullshit. And let's just concentrate on what is to be done. Al Jazeera is an important medium. It is the most important medium in the world. And I say that with a full, full recognition of our role. Because the Middle East, we like it or not, is the most important region in the world. And we are the most important medium there. And we have to have access to everybody. Why do they want to keep it out of Canada? Because they have this illusion that if everything is kept pristine and nice, then uh, people are not going to turn against them. Uh, the atrocities committed by the Israeli army are there. The atrocities committed by the Hamases are there. Take your pick. But don't deprive the people of seeing the full reality.